Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all having a great start to the week. It is Monday, right? <laughs> I completely lost track. Um, uh, Minecraft. Yes, the Minecraft music is absolutely perfect. Um, how are you all doing? Um, or your project had a setback. Didn't realize how much it would bother me until I was almost done with the exterior. Oh, well. <laughs> I've been there. Um, happens all the time. Unfortunate. Yeah, I think we should just be able to decide what day of the week it is, if this is going to be the way things go. Um, ooh, this is very framey all of a sudden. Oh, I guess it's just loading in a little bit here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm in the middle of Old Town here because I was... Uh, experimenting with ultra widescreen monitor and uh minecraft uh, i'm not doing that today although tomorrow this will probably be the last stream ever uh no tomorrow um i get my new fancy graphics card and um hopefully that means that uh future minecraft streams um can uh uh be a little smoother that'll be nice uh, and I also will probably try the um, Windows edition uh, with the RTX stuff. Um, but, uh, of course, it's just in time for Ace Combat. Well, I'm, I'm getting the card tomorrow, and I'm playing Ace Combat today, Cord. Now, if you'd like me to delay, um, I can probably shift some things around and find a, find a, find a home for Ace Combat um, uh, next week. Um, or not next week, uh, the, the day after that, probably. Um, I, th I suspect this, this card's probably gonna be fine with Ace Combat, but we'll see. If it's not super demanding, then we're okay. Um, anyway, uh, oh man, Minecraft mornings. I love them. Where are we gonna go? What are we gonna see? Let's go to, uh, Winter Zone here. And, um... I, uh, I keep saying I'm going to build something in this game, and I, I really have to just admit that at this point I have, like, builder's block. I'm... I, I, every time I try, I put down, like, six blocks and just feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Um, maybe I need to, like, collaborate with somebody on a project, because I just... I really... I was good at building, or at least, like, okay at building, uh, at one point, and now whenever I try to put something down, it just looks like garbage, and I tear it down immediately. Um, anyway, uh, I love this tree. Very, very good. Um, I do, I, I will promise to, uh, build something in Winterton before, before the time is up, though. It does feel a little framier than usual. I don't know why. Um... I don't see anything new here, but uh, please let me know if that's not the case. It looks pretty cool, though. Yeah, I do think um, uh, I do think that filling in like just this outer rim here would be great the next, like, week and a half. Um, which I don't think is going to be that hard to do. You're just gathering quartz potato. God, it is tough. It takes, I mean, like, sometimes I'll just be like, oh, I'll just play Minecraft for an hour, and then I spend an hour trying to figure out where to get brick. And even just, like, when somebody gave me all the brick... It took that long to go get the brick and then bring it here. <laughs> and then I put the brick down and I was like, I hate the way that this looks. <laughs> so, um. Um, it's a train? Oh yeah, no, we've seen this. This is the Polar Express that Yato built. Anyway, yeah, I guess there's nothing new in Winterton. Um, I'm uh, I'm gonna have to build something there this week. I say it every week, but I'm 
I need to build something that's just like I need I need something where the reference is actually going to work for Minecraft because the brick I think was a good idea if the brick in Minecraft actually looked good, but oof. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it. Castle past Winrar. Let's see. This isn't new, is it? Or is it? No, that's not new. That's like really old. That's like one of the first things. I'm used to seeing it at night. Oh yeah, the, the bathtub's extremely good. I guess if there isn't a lot new on the server, I, I could maybe just spend this time building. Um, I mean, I'm sure there are new things on the server. It seems like they might be just hard to find. Uh, castle past Rinrar. Oh, what? <clears throat> Whoa. This is uh, very new and very close to town. Well, this is cool. Uh, I, w I wonder where the entrance is. Here, let's go back to daytime. Where would the entrance be? No, there is a uh, an entrance on the front here. Is someone planning to siege the city? That would be pretty funny. Put up some catapults here. Don't get any ideas, Cord. Um, okay, I'm gonna just sort of hop up here. See what if maybe there's a way in. Ah, okay, here we go. Motley Cottage, a perfectly normal house. By normal too? <laughs> Garden wing currently under construction. Okay. Ooh, lots of signs. All accessible rooms can be reached from this one. No distraction or fancy platform required. Thank you. Uh, there's only one inaccessible room. Okay. Little balcony here. This is a cool spot. I'm really surprised that uh, this went up under our noses. Dumb waiter. <laughs> uh, that's pretty cool. That's a funny idea. Wait, where'd it go? Did I just ruin it? I, I might have just... I, I was never here. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, that little cottage. Whoops. Cottage. Uh, and the bathroom. Going downstairs, we've got the... Oh, this is like maybe exits out to the, uh, oh? Very twisty and surprising. I think maybe this is like a future garden entrance uh, via underground. Um, delete the VOD. Um, oh, because I ruined the house. Uh, oh, whoa. What is the What is... What is this room? <laughs> Very mysterious.
Yeah, this is really cool. This, uh, it's so close to town, but it, it, it really works. Like, look at that from a distance. It just fits right in. It's like it's been there forever. Explore these, um, turrets here. Uh... Oh, oh, this is the entrance. Okay, there's got to be a way... Uh, oh, this goes down. Goes down, and then... Oh, this is the little pool here that we were seeing. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of... Uh, oh, is that the dumbwaiter that goes all the way around here? <laughs> okay, so you can go over here. Ah, the dumbwaiter return. There we go. Oh, that's cool that it goes outside like that. It reminds me of this um, this restaurant in my hometown called Station 885, and it was built um, right next to an old train station. And in the restaurant, um, they had a um, it had like four big rooms. The restaurant did, and uh, Near the ceiling, they had uh, built a model train set that ran all the way around the edge of the restaurant continuously. Like, as a kid, you got to just, like, watch this model train kind of, like, circle and, like, go from, like, room to room. And it would, like, disappear for a while, then come back. Ugh. Just the best. Um, where? How do I get up? Here. It feels like there's a door that I'm missing. This is the main entrance here. We just go straight. The dumb waiter. Oh, wait, um, oh, you can keep going down. Maybe that's what I need to do? No, that's that. <laughs> Just finding the same two rooms over and over again. I think... I don't know, I don't know how to get to, um... Yeah, I can work backwards and just go over here and then see how you get here. These stairs lead you from where? Oh, Smoky 2 multiplayer's out? Okay. Well, we should definitely do that. Oh, secret bathroom exit. Oh, clever. Strange, but clever. <laughs> um, okay. Secret bathroom. And then, uh, and then you get access to the rest of this. All right. Oh, my. Oh, my. Wait, did I just get really lucky? I think I did. Oh! Oh, wow. Oh, this is, this is truly a maze house. Can't start a private lobby with friends from what I've seen on other streams. Ugh. That does not sound great. I don't know that I want to play Splunky 2 with random people. Of all the games uh, that I would play with random people, Splunky 2 is not one of them. <laughs> it's like the least, the least likely one. Um, it's just a beta? Okay. So they're just testing it, basically. Um, true beta. Like what a beta used to be. Uh, well, this house is really cool. It feels like it's in progress, um, and I hope I didn't ruin any of the uh, surprises. And clearly I did. Uh, but that is, that's a very cool uh, exterior, and the, uh, the maze, the maze uh, uh, disaster that is the interior is, uh, is, is very good. Um, I gotta check back. I gotta, I gotta see uh, 
I don't I don't know who's um making this though. Uh was it is, did we confirm that it's droopy? This is a cool little building, but I don't know how to get into it. Oh, you know, I think that's the, oh, that's the one that I had to go underground to get into. Everything's very sneaky. Oh yeah, right. Thanks, Aeon. Um Ah, yes, it is droopy. Virtuous machine. Cool. Well, I'm glad we found that. Thank you for noticing that, Potato. Um, ah, yes, Minecraft. Yeah, maybe I'll just go build something. Oh, wait. Progress has been made over here. Although it doesn't seem to be finished. Maybe I shouldn't inspect it, but I'm going to anyway. It looks, it's too enticing. It says horse. <laughs> uh, this is all glass. This is all glass. This is, this is going to look weird on my shader here. Let's, let's, let's switch out. Horse. <laughs> What do these signs say? They don't say anything. Maybe they're on the other side. Eggs to throw at the passing mine carts. Executive office. Just a smaller office. <laughs> the game runs so much faster. Uh, dining area tables with umbrellas, etc. The horse, the future of travel, fast, all-terrain, stylish, an achievement in engineering and design. It's like it, it's actually alive. <laughs> the boat, improved on the minecart, but requires H2O. Oh wait, so this is, is this a tour of like, the walker, primitive form of travel, versatile, but very slow. So this is, this is an evolution uh, display, the history of travel presented by horse. <laughs> wait, so, is this, is the premise of this building that like, the horses run it? Is the premise of this building that it's like run by oh, all all horses? <laughs> it's a horse advocacy advocacy group. I love it. Minecraft early attempt at fast transport lacks speed, maneuverability, and style. Considered a big failure by most. <laughs> the boat an improvement, but the horse the future of travel. Oh man, buy horses for horses. <laughs> of course. Uh, who who made who's making this? Oh, you know what? I can find out. Oh! Oh, I turned it off! <laughs> I turned off inspect! God damn it, that gets me every time. Alright, how do I fix this? Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> is this concrete? This is concrete, right? Okay. Uh, we're fine, everything's fine. Okay. There we go. Oh, this is Kevin, okay. Uh, I love this Kevin. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Um, <clears throat> keep going, keep going. It's, uh, it's perfect. <laughs> yes, now I made, technically made uh, a fraction of that, um, for sure. I do kind of wish, um, that, uh, oops. I do wish that um, it was possible to try the Microsoft ray tracing uh, on our server as opposed to having to go to another server. But I suppose we could like port this into a bedrock server, but that wouldn't really be worth it. Uh, oh, that's that cool house over here. Well, we do, don't we? Is, is the Bedrock server still operating? Um, Truman Town? I feel like it is. I don't know that it's being regularly ported into the server. but um, I'm still very happy with uh, Wicker Man. Or sorry, Liquor Man. I'm also very happy that I stumbled into Liquor Man as I was building it. I wanted to build a Wicker Man, and then I thought, oh, Liquor Man, perfect. I wonder what this looks like without the shader on. 
Not as moody, but I guess fine. It is nice playing at a high frame rate, though. <laughs> How fake the diorama is with, without the shader. Yeah, I. It, it is funny, like, certain things I like better... Um, I mean, I definitely do like certain aspects of this better with the shader off, but I just wish that the lighting was easier to control. Um, it just really, it's, it's tough here. Let's, let's, let's go back. Yeah. This may be like, having looked at that, this is maybe a little too dark now for my taste, but, um, Uh, whoops. Oh, I have inspect on this part. Anyway, um, none of this is new. I need to um I need to consult with Derek. I just realized. I had this idea um of uh feature like <laughs> because we did that big walkthrough video and I'm glad that that exists as like a an archive thing that's on the YouTube channel and everything. Um but I've always wanted to like do like really short videos, like almost like vine length, but not lo longer than that, maybe like TikTok length. Um, oh my god, is, do I finally have to start a TikTok? Of uh, just featuring individual creations in this, um, in this, uh, on the server, just kind of randomly. Like, I don't think I would be able to do all of them, but, um, I want to come up with some kind of easy to create format where it wouldn't take me too long to do it. Um, and maybe wouldn't require voice. Like maybe I need to find like a template for this kind of thing. Like I need to figure out a template. Um, Cause I don't really know off the top of my head what I'm describing, but I just think it would be cool to have like little bite-sized, like 40 second walkthrough videos of some of these places. Essentially they would be like little short trailers. I think Derek would probably have a good idea of how to, have... he, he might have some ideas of reference for this. There's signs on top of the wool factory? Chunk. Chunk. I do feel like, um... Chunk. I do feel like, uh... <laughs> it's keeping the factory loaded? Uh, wouldn't it be fun if this was just a big piano? Like, shouldn't, like, there be, uh, note blocks attached to these? I feel like, I feel like it should, that, that should be the case. <laughs> it looks like the piano from Big. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to go look for. Looking around, where where else to go looking for for new stuff right now? Um, God, also, I just realized the other day that Big is owned by Disney now, which means uh, get ready for that Big remake. Um, I could just fly around the server all day, but I won't. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go figure out what to build here. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet. Yeah, I. <laughs> I would not be surprised. Oh, I'm so glad that we convinced um, Lakey to not destroy this building. I understand why Lakey 
thought that that was a good idea because it does like the black concrete definitely does like it does you know stand out but in a good way like i i think it's oh man Is the American countryside dotted with towns famous for having a big fruit, vegetable, animal, etc.? Uh, why are you asking this, Aeon? But I mean, kind of. Not so much like <clears throat> in the uh, town fair that we had the biggest pumpkin sense, but definitely like um, home of the world's largest yarn museum or whatever. Uh, that kind of thing. Um, but not like home of the world's largest pig, because that's so ephemeral. You know that pig's, that pig's <laughs> that's that pig's not gonna that sign would not last very long. All the Australian towns famous for having twenty meter high sculpture of a shrimp. Yeah, that's that's more or less what what America's like. Why over country anyway? God, I found this, we were on this trip across the country, my dad and I, when I drove to San Francisco for the last time um, from, from the other coast. And we came across this absolutely bonkers place. And I don't know that I ever tracked down what it actually was. It was like, it was so, it looked like a set out of Mad Max. It was like, everything was made of bones. There was like a fence made of bone, and then within the fence there were all of these like skulls and like I mean it was it was wild. I think it was in Utah. I want to say Utah. I should track down what that actually was. We didn't go in, but uh, I definitely uh, I definitely kind of wish that we'd investigated more. Um. Okay. All right. I, I think I will just take this plot up, but, um, did I just realize that my UI is like a different size. I think this window is actually bigger, which is why which is why the, the graphics are a little slower. Um, oh God, do I try to make it in brick again? I don't know if I should. What do I do with all this brick? Post office. A post office? How do you make a post office? Go back to the um, tests here. Yeah, everything is much larger than it should be. The UI is like larger. I don't know how to fix that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this window is definitely bigger than it usually is. I don't know why. Like shrink it and then just like expand it on the screen. That's that's. Okay. <laughs> well, that's what I was thinking, Ms. Nugent. Maybe I need to just give it up to the community. Um, uh, oh, the UI scales on auto? Okay, well, that's fine. Now that I made the window smaller, it's fine. Um, I just, what I need to do is find some reference that actually will work for this. Uh, like... And, and try to, like, this is probably fine, but it, I don't know if this would look good in Minecraft. I doubt it. Let me pull it in. <laughs> it kind of looks like garbage. Actually, now that I look at the image in full screen. All right, I need to find, I need to find something that actually looks good with 
It's made out of brick. Maybe brick is just bad. Hmm. Okay, here we go. This is a Lego set. Oh no, this is somebody's Lego build. And none of it uses red brick. <sighs> oh, is the stream dying? What's going on? Janelle's on a call. That could be it. Our internet has been just disastrous, and I, I don't really know what to do about it. If I could pay more for better service, I would, but they literally just, have, there's nothing above this tier. Those are league game. Uh, yeah, it seems to be bouncing up and down. Um, if this keeps up, maybe I'll just end the stream and uh, call it a, a short one. Because next week we're going to do, um, we're going to do uh, a longer one with the, uh... <laughs> it is Friday after all. Uh, we're gonna do a longer one with the, um, with the new graphics card and stuff, but, um, I can also just take this to the Discord and stream, stream to the Discord, uh, which is a little demanding. God, what a bummer that it's jumping around this much. What do about it? In fact, it's because Janelle's on this call. We just don't have the bandwidth now for, for two things. Bummer. It does feel like our internet held up fine uh, until like a month ago, and I don't know. I don't know what happened. Um, <laughs> I was all set to try AT and T, and then um, yeah, it, it seems like AT and T is maybe even worse. It's just completely shutting off. For a lot of people in the Bay Area, times, whereas this is just inconsistent. Um, giant stockings. Oh, that's a good idea. Wait, didn't we have an idea like, um, like packages or? Oh, I was thinking about an advent calendar. Um, although we're nearing the point where that would be silly because there aren't that many days left. Also, it would have to be huge. Um. I mean, I think a post office would be cool if I can just figure out something that actually wouldn't look bad. I think, um, I think brick is just the problem. I should not have chosen this as the as the base thing. I think it's just going to look look bad no matter what I do. Uh, you know what I want to do? Uh, as long as the internet's being bad, I'll just fully make it bad by screaming across the countryside here. Um, I want to go look at those two small buildings that Lakey built recently. Oh, these use brick. Oh my god, why didn't I look at these for reference? Oh, also, Lakey's building up and up here. Oh, wait. Oh, these were the two original, and now there are more. Oh, but they seem to be unfinished. I will save the tour of them. Um, but this is really cool. Lakey's just... <laughs> no. <laughs> Normal ink out of Newtown now. <laughs> Droopy Company does not pay taxes. Oh, man. No handouts for Trust Bank. I, I don't... I don't know that this stuff is done, and I don't want to... Nathan's Produce, a grocer's grocer. Special three for one. You eat with your eyes first, so look at these first. Four for three, straight from Cord's Honey Farm. <laughs> Do not carry meat from SFC or Cowplex. Never will. <laughs> oh, man. 
This stuff looks so good. <clears throat> I'm so glad that things are still being wedged into uh, into Newtown here. This one looks like it's definitely in progress. Oh, I think it's going to be a bar. Right? This looks like a beer hall or something. Oh, that's very exciting. I'm going to get a look at this stuff from the air. Look at all this new stuff that Lakey has just busted out. Uh, and suggesting a model. <clears> hmm. <throat> um. This is kind of wood and stone based, as opposed to brick. Yeah, I think that's probably better. Um, although, <clears throat> looking at what Lakey's done here, uh, I do think brick is viable in small amounts. You just have to have a good idea of like what you're going to pair it with. The concrete, or I don't know if this is concrete or quartz actually, but um, either way, seems to help. The wood, well, let me take a look over here. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like, um, also, God, look at these little details. The, putting in the, like, cracked bricks here, just like every now and then. Same thing happening over here on the corner. That's really good. Yeah, I think the smaller areas of brick make sense. I think it can work as a base. Like, I think it can work from the ground up, but you need, you have to skirt it with, like, different materials. Like, using the uh, stone here as a skirt, uh, I think that's the way to go. Um, same same here with the uh, that stuff. All right, well, <clears throat> maybe I'll just attempt a... A start here. I'm not even going to do the whole building. I'm going to do like one window. I'm going to do it over and over and over again until it looks good and then I'm going to carry it through the rest of the building. And it's weird how just this chunk has been chunked out. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah, and that's, that's kind of how it's been going, too. I don't know why suddenly our internet just can't function for 10 minutes. Um, it's, it's all over the place. Okay. So, hmm. all right, let's call this like the, the demo. Um, oh, I'm in creative mode. <clears throat> okay. Um, see, I, right off the bat, I need, I need, need some slabs that are going to be for uh, details. Oh, you're going to cost yourself some money there, Mrs. Nuclear Monsters. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, Alright. Um, yeah, let's take some stone and make it into um, labs. And we'll put that there. And then, um, I think there is actually a little bit of quartz or something here, isn't there? Maybe not. Uh, 
Uh, well, I'll take some wood. Um, which wood? Wood. Take some spruce and uh, those into slabs as well. All right, let's just go play around a little bit. Um. <laughs> a new holiday village every uh, every holiday. That sounds that sounds about right. Um Oh, you're talking about the Lego. Yeah. Well, I also I was just thinking in Minecraft doing this every every holiday, but just like redesigning it and making it new would be fun. Okay. Um Like could you do Mean like white thing. Oops. Yeah, and then like, <clears throat> well, what goes in between the brick columns? You know, I think that's kind of the bigger problem with this. Is like, how do you uh, break it all up? Oh man, we definitely need a New Year's fireworks show. Uh, I would still like to do one that's redstone timed and planned out in advance. And then I guess like this would just be the roof at this point. Like a tiny little guy here. Maybe maybe a second story, but a second story that's kind of girded a bit. I mean, maybe the other thing too is just that this window is not big enough. Yeah, we've got to break that wood up with something in between. Yeah, I kind of want... Um, stone... Here. Get a little more reference. Yeah, I think white... I, think I need quartz uh, or, or white concrete for this. I think, I think doing it all with stone is going to look bad. Um... I think actually white goes well with the brick because of the contrast. Um, hmm. Panes for the glass? Yeah, probably panes for the glass. But I do think this is actually fine. It's just going to require more stuff than I have, which is usually the case. Uh, I'm going to find... Okay, I think I had some concrete that I made back at the theme park. <laughs> uh, I 
Yeah, that's going to be a trip. B blocks. I think I think I probably actually want quartz because quartz gives you the uh, slabs. Um, so well, see, Kevin. The problem is I claimed Santa's workshop and then I backed off of it because I thought it was going to be too big of a thing. I also just don't really know how best to like wedge it into this area. Seemed really challenging. But if anybody wants to do Santa's workshop, please do it. Um, I'm just going to try to build this post office and I can't even do that. Um, yeah, I think I need, I think I need quartz, which I just do not have. I'm going to have to go back to town. What the hell? Oh, berries. <laughs> um, well, I, uh, I think I'll probably do this off stream. Because, uh, it's going to just be a lot of resource collection at this point. Um, although I know who has quartz that I can steal from. Um, oh, I don't have a minecart. Oh. Uh. Okay. Um, I think there are mine carts in the storage. Yeah, the snow globe's really good. I thought there were mine carts in the storage. Dude. I want to spend like an hour just improving this community storage. It feels like um, we just need more stuff out here. Uh, hard to build without more resources. I don't really know what to do. But a minecart. Well, <laughs> I guess that's where I'll call it. I have no minecart. Um, and I can't death warp. Can you make a minecart again? I made one in like forever. Iron. There were iron. Ah, oh, there's a black block of iron. Oh, wait, there's minecarts. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oops. No, we should probably add a chest of minecarts to the uh, interior of that train somewhere. Maybe there is one and I just missed it. Oh man, it's really good that you can see the winter stuff from a distance like this. Oh, is it an overhead bin? Okay, I didn't notice. Whoops. Yeah, I need to, uh... I need to spend, like, more time than I have, uh... I need to just pick a night and get together like my own personal resource 
pain because every time I do this, I feel like I borrow from other folks and I, I should probably collect my own quartz and find some stuff and get a stash together. I had one going for a while and then I just, I don't even know. I've got so many different areas where I was working from. I have no idea where all this stuff is. There was talk of an airport early on uh, for Newtown. Um, I don't know there's enough space there now. We'd have to build it on the outskirts, like a real airport. Um, <laughs> yeah, the flying machines are cool, but they're, yeah, not very functional. I think you could just do, like, the facade of an airport, you know, like, just, uh, aesthetic, uh, only. Oh, is that the end, or is that just, like, a weird, I think I need a transfer here. Um. I mean, I like gathering, I just, um, I don't like gathering quartz, it's the one thing I don't like gathering, because I don't really like the nether. It's not my favorite part of this game. I like digging big holes, but we don't really need those resources anymore. My problem is, I every time I build something, it's always, I need the things that are kind of the, you know, more, uh, uh, rare of the uh, materials. The raw problem machine's house? <laughs> um, I actually don't know, yeah, like where do I go for, see if there's any community resources. The, I think Paul's um, warehouse is, has been completely ripped bare. Um, And the speed bonus is really nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna guess. You know, here let's let's contribute a little. Um, guess that there's no quartz. Yeah. Okay. Uh. My biggest problem is just, um, it's not even that you have to collect stuff, it's that the process of, like, moving vast quantities of materials from one area of the world to the other, I find really laborious. It's one of the reasons why I think I built a lot of stuff in Old Town and New Town, and then uh, I've dropped off a little here, because I, I find it really difficult when there isn't just a bunch of stuff within a couple minutes of collecting. Um, I guess the ender, the end boxes I should be using more, probably. Um, but, uh, yeah. I kind of don't understand, I mean, I know why they do it this way, but I wish that there were some, like, end game items or something that expanded your inventory space or make it like really expensive to do in survival mode but like still have some kind of solution for like having more stuff or more easily you know transferring stuff um i i kind of wish that that existed I mean, yeah, I like to walk around too. Uh, just uh, 
when I want to build, I want to like build. You know what I mean? Uh, if I get interrupted, then it's like it's all over. Um. Oh, hey. There's some quartz. Excellent. This was a very good community uh, community chest effort. This made the theme park so much easier. Um, yeah, I think I'll try quartz and then... Um, ooh, green concrete. I don't think green's going to work, but I'm going to take some just in case. Um, and then... Ooh, granite. Granite might be good in places. Um... Whoa, we had this much lava just sitting here. Like, I wish there was a way... <laughs> I guess what I'm wishing for is, like, an actual train. Like, I wish that you could load all this up on, like, a big minecart, like a big minecart, and just, like, take it to another town. Um, like, the process of having to break all of this down and move it is just too much. I wish that there was an easier, a better way. But I got my quartz, so I'm happy. Uh oh, did I not save the? Oh wait, we have mine cards here. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, the best, uh, oh man, every time I forget how bonkers it is, and it's, it's, so good. Oh, whoops. No! Uh, Sully, that's on the way to the theme park. That's the theme park, uh... Subway stop. Um... getting out. Uh, I feel like they're, well, a central station. So, uh, having traveled this a few times, whoops, oh no. Gotta track that down. Having traveled this a few times, I think I have... ...opinion. Uh, let's see. Want 
Ink line. Um, I think that hub is great. Um, I think the fact that there's another hub at the farm so quickly is a little strange. It definitely, like, breaks up your trip a lot. Uh, I guess it's just necessary because there are just so many other lines that kind of peel off from there. I kind of wish there was just the one big hub, though. Like, having to get out here after having just gotten out is kind of annoying. But, yeah, maybe there just isn't a good solution for that. Going, where are we going? Uh, I don't know. Oh, over here. Where's Toby? Oh, Toby's just always with Janelle in the mornings now. He'll appear at 5. The uh, Ace Combat stream. Because he knows that he gets treats from chat. I mean, honestly, the, the, the chat treats are the main reason that he even shows up anymore. So, uh, yeah, that does exist. And now, he likes the, um, the front of the house is warmer, uh, in the, in the winter. Um, so he likes to hang out there in the mornings. Oh, this is the worst transfer, this one. This one, I don't even know, does this need to exist? Can I just, like, oh, but see... Just like I want to, I want to do a thing, but I don't have any rail, and I have to go get the rail. I would, I would totally just connect this railway to the to the other railway at this point, because this I don't even know if there's another way to go here, right? Isn't this kind of just what's this towards the farm? Oh, it's because this doesn't have a real stop. You have this is just like a two way thing. Yeah. Yeah, this this could just be a stop. Like a real stop. I mean, the... the the rail's been updated before. Um, doesn't, uh, not gonna impact the little skull. to have a powerful graphics card. This will be nice. I've been uh, streaming usually with a 1080p window and um, I played some games full screen uh, the other day and uh, especially with this new monitor I was like whoa this is actually really nice and enjoyable. Um, I might start streaming a little bit more of a full screen effect. Oh, there's there's a lot of Nether portal. Up. I just don't use it because I don't like the Nether. Okay. I will say I fully endorse this monitor. Um, I'm really happy with it. Um, extremely good. Oops, did I just make all of it into slabs? I did. I wanted to save some for, uh, for, for stairs. Whoops. Oh, that's a bummer. Well,
Uh, I still hate the way the crafting works in this game. Okay. Thanks, Rampus. Um, I'm I'm still anti-mod, even with my non-stop kind of whining about certain things, but that's me. People want to eventually mod the hell out of the server. That's probably up to the folks who play uh, more than I do at this point. Um, okay, I'm gonna make some. This is this is where I get like really annoyed with this. Like I don't. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, God, I need stairs. <laughs> I think this combination is going to work, though. I think this is actually going to be fine. Um, but I really need stairs. Bummer. Maybe I'll do like that. Of course, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, I wish this was concrete, but... I can't even remember. Can you do concrete slabs? No, you can't. This is fine then. Break this up with. Um, hmm. Oh, well, you know... That looks bad. Sorry, I'm just looking at some more reference. Um, uh, I think I'm actually doing this backwards. Let's do this. Ugh, different server? I mean, yeah, people can do whatever they want to do, but I feel like one of the nice things about this is that it, everybody's in the same place. Let's try this. I'm just wondering about like brick for like support columns or like, you know, just edges and stuff. I think this might be end up being too much quartz. Oh my god, I can't decide what I want to do with this. This is... I don't know why I'm having such a hard time making a post office. Um... I think it's got to be brick all the way around.
I mean, I'm not like, I mean, I, I certainly understand the um, desire for like a restart because I enjoy that feeling in the context of other games, but I think one of the things that's strange about that for Minecraft is that uh, you can just to head off in a direction and it's basically a new server, you know? So I feel like um, the need for that is lessened. Just don't, I don't have a lot of interest in mods because I kind of feel like the point of this game is that it's, it is what it is. Like, I mean, there are a lot of, like, limiting factors when it comes to Minecraft, but I feel like if you removed all of them, it would just become too much. Like, I think that uh, at a certain point, you just, you know, you gotta call it, and that's the game, and that's what's fun about it. Um, when you start modding it heavily, it feels like, well, then that's just... Certainly, I'm sure there are mods that with like resource packs and stuff where you can just make this like building in Maya or something. But like, why? You know? Why would you do that? Right. You can't do that. I guess that's my point, Alvac. Who would want to make a game? Sounds like it's just a terrible idea. Yeah, I mean, I could see mods that, like, improve certain tiny things or, you know, like, like... I mean, obviously we have the music mod, which is, like, a thing. Oh, no. um, but, uh... Hmm. Uh, thanks for following. Hmm. Right, you can't sandwich. Oh, but you know what I would try, though? something um this now the green on the side oh wow uh, i don't know oh it's so bright <laughs> it would need to be the duller one for sure but yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm super anti-mod. <laughs> PM, you, you actually made it worse. <laughs> you saying that made it less appealing, even less appealing to me. Magic systems, like, no thanks. I just want to build with Legos. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I think, uh, I think this might work. What if it was more like a Ubisoft game and it had, like, a thousand crafting blah 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 blah. Uh, let's see. I don't know about that. I 
No, I know. I mean, the joke of this is that I just need to use the actual stuff that exists in the game to solve my problem. I'm well aware. I'm sorry I'm making you a bad PM. I was just joking around. Not my intention. Oh yeah, no, I get I get I get what mods are. I mean I get I get the appeal of like weird new stuff. Uh, it just isn't appealing to me, but and yeah, if people want to make like a totally weird server, like go for it. Uh, I do this. This is not right. Yeah, I just don't like game design. <laughs> so I would rather play with Legos. Um, I think that's got to be a double... That's oh my god. Oh, I gotta sleep. Oh boy. Mm. Yeah, I think that just might mean that games are bad and not that uh, that there's a solution for magic <laughs> being good. I think the solution to that is play D and D, and then it can be whatever's in your imagination. Uh. <laughs> the magic system in D&D &D isn't great either. I don't know anything about D&D. I just assumed you say, like, I want to cast a spell that, like, does a thing, and then it just does a thing because you said it. No, that's not the way that D&D &D works. But you got to just, like, say what you wanted to say, and then it happened. You don't get to just, like, write the story as you're going? No, that's not D&D. &D. Ugh. Sounds like a bad lore generator to me. Uh, oh god, why am I doing this? Why am I trying to make this harder than it needs to be? That's because it's something that I'm doing. Yeah, I think like that. Oh. So I guess what I want is LARPing then. <laughs> uh. I did not have a plan for this.
Hmm. <laughs> probably true, Crossbow. Probably true. I may have even seen you there. Uh, let's see. Let's... See, I feel like um, there's got to be a solution to this. I mean, I feel like I feel like my my version of D and D would be like uh, you know everybody gets a certain number of lore points, and then the judge, that's me, gets to determine uh, how wacky your story point is. And if it's like really wacky, you lose like ten points. And if it's like only kind of wacky, then you lose five. Um, and then uh, that's how you do your 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 magic screwed up here. Screwed up here and I hate it. Here, let's, let's, let's. I don't hate that. I mean, I kind of do, but like, it's fine for just riffing, I suppose. Let's those. Uh, I think, hmm. this is progressing, but I, I, I think I hate this and I don't, I don't know what to replace it with because it can't just be solid brick. I need a few more other types. Um. Well, I definitely started something, at least. It's like, not so terrible that I need to knock it down again, so. I don't like this. I played Munchkin. It's just a card game, though, right? There's no, like... No, uh... That looks terrible. You can't, you can't do two bricks in a row. I mean, if you do, you've got to break up the depth of it. And I guess I could just do that again. Here, let's try that. Brick half slabs alternating. Oh God. Uh, wait a minute. But yeah, how do you, how would you get this now? Oh, like this, right? Or, no, because then it won't let you break the middle. Oh, wait, yeah, there we go. Wow, this is so tedious. Uh, I wonder what this would look like if you just filled in the back now. Um, I know that it's worth it. <laughs> a lot of uh, finicky stuff. I think actually just changing the depth like that might be enough. Like I can probably do, let's do the door here. 
Uh, question is like, what's the door made out of? How about we'll try stone? Uh, Oh, good trick, Mrs. Nuclear. Thank you. Yeah, some of these I remember I used on um, on my uh, on City Hall, and I just kind of forgot these tricks. I don't hate the alternating stone brick. It's not going to look like a nice lakey project, but I don't hate it. I don't like this, though. I think this actually has to be... Uh, I hate it a little more now. You know, like that? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of liked there being like this in front, but now I've kind of messed up the road. I've I built too close to the road. I actually built this all too close to the road in general. Uh, and there's no way to move the road at this point. Um, Liking it less and less. I don't know what to do with the white now. I really liked the idea of the white part of this, but I, I kind of worked its way out. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, of the same thing. What about, like, well, I don't know. Uh, no, definitely an arch. I don't think I can mix the white and the stone. I think it's one or the other. I think the white could be like the second floor. There is a second floor. I think there could be like white up here. Brick though. I don't know how to solve that really. Too much stone rather. Um, hmm. I don't know. Try putting brick up there. I really thought that's what D&D was. You can't just like make up your own stuff. I thought that what's the point of the, the game master then? I thought the, the GM is like designs a story and then everybody kind of like does a thing.
pulls in stone to see white that's behind. The problem with the white behind thing is that you gotta build your whole thing, whole building uh, too thick then. But I guess I can do that. That is what I did on the city hall. Let's try to think of it. Um, I ended up having the same issue, and then I, that's the solution that I came up with. Is just like build your windows way thicker than they should be, probably. Um, so what is D and D then? What you just you just follow a book? You just read a book? I guess I'm not really even talking about magic or whatever at this point. More just, I'm surprised that uh, you can't uh, can't just tell your own little lore or story. Um, It's not even because of the... <laughs> it's too wide. Uh, let's try this. I mean, crossbow, I am, I am hand, hand to God. Do not know anything about D&D, really. I know there's a rule book, but I, I just thought that that was for like, I mean, I know you create a character and that your character has like skill points and stuff, but I, I thought everything else beyond that was kind of up to, up to you. And I thought that there, I thought like advanced D and D players were, uh, more off book. Uh, you no. Know. GURPS? Isn't GURPS used in Fallout? I feel like. I know of that in relation to Fallout. Maybe it's like based on GURPS or something. GURPS. Um, I hate this. This looks like a big pile of crap. Um, I need to start over. Ah, they switched, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. Ah, yes, special, right, special. Most people are intimidated by too much freedom. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, the extent to which your game is like an improv session, it can probably become stressful uh, at a certain point, I would imagine. But, um... Eh. Like, oops. The answer is actually more brick. Hello. Tough to prepare for a game where the characters can make literally any choice. So in other words, the GM doesn't really know how to push the story in in you know, this direction or that direction if the player says, well, I want to go to this place that may or may not exist or pull this thing out of my bag that no one knows what it means or what it is. Yeah. Um, I mean, I feel like this isn't the answer to that just a lot of like, I mean, it's just improv at that point, but I mean, you probably have to hit the pause button. Right.
Oh yeah, improv's tough, but I, I kind of just thought that was the point. <laughs> Is that it was uh, nerdy improv. I thought that was the, uh, that was the idea. Um, okay, let's just try carrying this. Uh, you know what? Maybe let's do this. Let's just make this too deep. Oops. <laughs> uh, the director of Onward, uh, Dan Scanlon, um, is a Michigan boy. Um, Bloomfield Hills, I think. A little feature on him on the inside Pixar uh, series. Um, yeah, needs some kind of like, what I want. And that's not terrible. That's a little better. Door, door, and then. What about... Ooh. Oh, right, you can't mix. Still... Might be nice, actually. Uh, well, there's that TTRPG channel that's just going unused right now. I didn't delete it, or I didn't... I wasn't going to delete it, but I didn't move it to Dumptown because I assumed it would get used again. Um, that's not terrible. It might be, like, in the right direction. It may not be, like, perfect, but it's it might be in the right direction. A chat-based role-playing game. Oh, wow. Well, now we're getting to Gemstone territory. Oh, wow. So, okay. I need to stream Gemstone at some point, but uh, I did find it incredible incredible couple of photos of me uh, as a kid. Uh, I kind of need to reveal them to chat at some point here, but I don't... It'll have to be a the right moment. Um, let's see. I think like that, then. Thanks, Sullied. Uh, that made it too much. <laughs> that made it too, like, Daggerfall. That made it too, uh, too gray. Yep, that was, that's the correct move. Okay, we're gonna go back to four high on the, uh... I think ultimately, like, probably some... Um... Stair pieces would have helped this, but... The phrase the Pixar picks are. 
I don't think so. They do have a there's like a talent show every year that they had to have uh, virtually this year. Um, I don't think that they say the Pixar Pixar. Yeah, I think the chat based thing might be more stressful to me than 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 the improv version. Because then then it's just kind of like I've got to create the perfect response. Whereas in the moment you can kind of just wing it, which I feel like would be less less intense. Um All right, well, this is like the start of something. I'm going to call it here on the stream so I can go eat lunch. Um, we don't have any food. Ugh. I'm having a hard time getting food in again. Um, but I'll be back for uh, Ace Combat later. Combat 7. Um, burrito time? <laughs> it might be. It might be burrito time. Um, anyway... Um, uh, <laughs> I fear that I would be the one joking around. Um, anyway, I will see you all later. Thanks for uh, hanging out while I mess around with blocks. Um, and, uh, yeah, hope you have a great start to your week. Um, and, um, yeah. Bye. <laughs> no, no, I'll see you in like three hours. See ya. Hour two and a half, and I think we're on world record pace. Not everyone runs this category. Um, oh! Hi, my name's Nick Brecken. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, wow, I've never clicked this button. Yeah, I'm Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Yeah. No! I am a game developer, occasional podcaster. Don't open the door, you coward! I stream uh, almost daily on this channel now called Idle Thumbs. No! We have a really good community. Oh, oh no! Please join us for, um... Nope, nope. Oh my god, I'm alive. <laughs> the hoisting? Join us for the madness. Oh no, the engine's too big. <laughs> join us for the hubris. What I need to do is stand on the roof of this Jeep and fire a rocket-propelled grenade. Oh no! No! <laughs> I occasionally stream with my girlfriend, Janelle. I live on the edge. No! I live on the edge. No, you don't. <laughs> Sorry, I occasionally stream with my partner, Janelle. Oh, no! Oh, Toby. And my wonderful dog, uh, Toby, who you may see. Oh my god, Toby. <gasps> Toby, get out of there. Uh, th this part's not going to be used. Ready for the knowledge. <laughs> Hi! This is how you take pictures. You take a lot of pictures and then you select the one good one, right? Isn't that how you take pictures? That's all. Ah, you piece of shit! You did it! <laughs> that was way too big! I don't like being that big. I, I like, I don't, I, this, this is a much better size for my face. This should be censored. <laughs>